Welcome back to John's Films. Did you know that DaVinci Resolve lets you choose which decoder you want to use to process your footage? I'm going to use that power today to test an Intel Arc A380 with my RTX 4090 and see in which cases would the very inexpensive GPU benefit my workflow. With the Intel Arc 380 enabled for decoding in DaVinci Resolve, you'll see that this 8K footage plays back right at what it thinks is 24 frames a second, though I do see a jitter here or there. Overall, it is smoother than what you see when I run it from a CPU when it eats up 60% of the processor. And here with the 4K 422, we can see the Intel Arc GPU is doing the work and the CPU is running around 11 to 15%. Contrast that with CPU-based rendering, and you'll notice the CPU is working harder, and in this case, keeps up. Okay, John, based on the power of the CPU in your system, there's not much benefit that I'm seeing in timeline. Yeah, that's right. Let's check out what it does in render. And our render times show us something quite interesting. Notice in the top orange row, when the Arc GPU does the decoding and it does the encoding, it's 15 minutes and 29 seconds. Yet on the bottom orange row, when the NVIDIA GPU and the CPU for the 422 footage do the decoding, with the Arc GPU again doing the encoding, it's 9 minutes and 55 seconds. That is a significant over 35% improvement in time for processing because I did not use the dedicated hardware decoder. Instead, I used the NVIDIA's decoder for H.264 and H.265, and I used the CPU for the 422 footage. Obviously, if I had a complete timeline of 422 footage, we may see a different result, but based on the timeline results, I don't think so. So this tells me I don't need to include the A380 in my system. However, if I were using a lesser CPU, maybe that would be a benefit. Thanks for watching. If this has been an interesting analysis for you, let me know in the comments and click like for me. Helps other people find the video. Otherwise, have a great day.